Jamaica's bauxite industry is undergoing a surprising transformation. Production is slipping. Yet, investments in local communities are reaching unprecedented levels. What's really driving this unexpected shift? In today's video, we're diving deep into how Jamaica's bauxite mining sector is evolving in 2025. You'll discover why output numbers alone don't tell the full story, how new technology and community initiatives are reshaping the industry, and why this small island's mining future looks very different and promising. Stay tuned, because what's unfolding here could redefine mining for the entire Caribbean. And before we get started, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a detailed story from industries around the world. For decades, Jamaica's bauxite mining has been a cornerstone of its economy. Since the mid-20th century, this island nation has ranked among the world's top producers of bauxite. Bauxite is the vital ore that is the foundation for aluminum production. This sector brought more than just minerals. It delivered jobs and attracted foreign capital. It put Jamaica firmly on the global industrial map. But mining has never been without its challenges. The industry has faced fluctuating global demand for aluminum and environmental pressures. Mining activities can have a social impact on local communities. These issues have continually tested the resilience and adaptability of Jamaica's bauxite sector. Now, Fast forward to 2025, and the industry stands at a crossroads. The Jamaican government, alongside mining companies, is no longer just reacting to market ups and downs. Instead, they are actively steering the sector towards a new future. This future isn't just about digging and exporting ore anymore. It's about balancing economic ambitions with environmental responsibility. It's also about meaningful social progress. To truly grasp what's changing, we first need to unpack the latest production data and what it signals for the mining landscape in Jamaica. Let's start with the numbers from earlier this year. In April 2025, Jamaica's overall bauxite production took a slight dip, falling by about 2.4% compared to the same time last year, totaling around 487,000 tonnes. On the surface, this decrease might look like bad news, suggesting the industry is shrinking or struggling. But here's where things get interesting. While total bauxite extraction went down, the amount of crude bauxite, the raw, unprocessed ore, actually rose by nearly 4%, reaching close to 143,000 tonnes. Why would this happen? This seemingly contradictory trend points to a deliberate strategic adjustment within the industry. Instead of trying to churn out sheer volume, the mining companies are shifting focus toward extracting higher quality bauxite. This premium grade ore is more valuable because it feeds directly into alumina refineries, where bauxite is processed into alumina, a key intermediate step before becoming aluminum. Think of it this way. Jamaica's mining sector is moving away from quantity and embracing quality. This shift is not just a smart business move, but a necessity in today's complex global market. The broader context matters too. Worldwide aluminum demand is influenced by numerous factors, from the rise of electric vehicles to global trade tensions and environmental regulations. These factors cause the market to be volatile and unpredictable. Jamaica's mining sector must therefore be agile, fine-tuning production, not just to meet demand, but also to satisfy increasingly strict quality and sustainability criteria. Picture this balancing act clearly. On one side is the pressure to keep production levels high to maintain revenue, while on the other side is the growing demand for environmentally sound, higher-grade ore that can sustain long-term industry health. But production trends alone don't paint the full picture. To understand what's really happening, we need to look deeper into how Jamaica is expanding its alumina output and harnessing technology to drive this transformation. Alumina refining is the critical middle stage in turning raw bauxite into aluminum. And in this area, Jamaica is truly making strides. In 2024, alumina production grew by around 4% hitting approximately 1.337 million tonnes, up from 1.286 million tonnes the year before. This growth is more than just a statistic. It represents a major leap forward for Jamaica's mining sector. What's behind this boost? One key factor 
is the increased capacity utilization at refineries like Jamalco, a major player in Jamaica's alumina industry. Jamalco and others have invested heavily in upgrading their infrastructure and implementing cutting-edge technology to streamline operations. These mining operations are no longer simple pits and trucks. They've evolved into highly sophisticated industrial complexes that combine chemistry, engineering and advanced environmental management. They utilize automated systems, real-time monitoring and data-driven maintenance to maximize output and minimize downtime. For example, Jamalco's recent modernization efforts have introduced automated controls that regulate processing conditions with remarkable precision. This not only improves the quality of alumina produced, but also slashes waste and energy consumption. It's a classic win-win. Better products with less environmental footprint. In a world that's increasingly demanding cleaner aluminum, these innovations position Jamaica as a competitive and responsible supplier in the global market. But there's more to the story than just machinery and output figures. The impact of mining touches the lives of people who live in the communities around these operations. And that brings us to one of the most inspiring developments in Jamaica's mining sector today. Mining can be a double-edged sword. While it creates jobs and generates wealth, it can also put tremendous pressure on local communities, straining resources, infrastructure and the environment. Recognising this, the Jamaican government has intensified efforts to ensure that mining benefits everyone, not just companies or the state. At the heart of these efforts is the Bogsite Community Development Programme, which entered its eighth phase recently. Between 2025 and 2028, the government is dedicating about 400 million Jamaican dollars, roughly 3 million US dollars, to improve the living standards of communities impacted by mining. This isn't mere charity. These investments are strategic and wide-ranging. Projects include upgrading water supply systems, constructing new schools, improving healthcare facilities and developing essential infrastructure like roads and community centres. For example, several mining communities now have access to new water treatment plants, ensuring that residents receive clean, reliable water, something that historically was a challenge in these areas. Schools have been refurbished with modern classrooms and equipment, opening doors for better education and brighter futures for countless children. These projects have real stories behind them. Local residents share how their quality of life has improved, how they now have access to basic services they once took for granted. Community leaders emphasize the importance of these partnerships, calling the program a model of collaboration between government, industry and citizens. This partnership marks a significant shift from the traditional view of mining as merely extractive. Instead, Jamaica's bauxite sector is increasingly about shared growth, building a future where economic success goes hand in hand with community well-being. Despite the many positive developments in Jamaica's mining sector, it is important to recognize that mining activities inevitably cause disruption to the natural environment. Jamaica's leaders are fully aware of this reality and have taken decisive and proactive steps to minimize ecological damage. They're also committed to rehabilitating mining sites to ensure that the land can be restored and put to productive use once mining operations conclude. In 2022, the Jamaican government made a significant announcement by declaring certain bauxite mining areas as completely mined out. This declaration marked a clear and firm commitment to environmental restoration. The government has set an ambitious deadline. By the end of 2025, all such mining sites must be fully reclaimed and restored to a condition that allows for safe and productive use once again. Reclamation of these sites is a complex and labour-intensive process. It involves carefully replacing the topsoil that was removed, planting native vegetation to re-establish the natural ecosystem, managing water runoff to prevent flooding or contamination, and reshaping the land to a more natural terrain. The ultimate goal is to transform once barren and heavily scarred landscapes into thriving forests, fertile farmland, or accessible community parks. Before and after images of reclaimed mining sites tell a powerful story. Areas that were once devastated by extraction activities have now become lush and green, supporting diverse wildlife and providing valuable space for local communities to enjoy. 
Environmental experts emphasize that reclamation is far more than just restoring beauty to the landscape. It plays a crucial role in preventing soil erosion, safeguarding rivers and streams from pollution, and contributing to the fight against climate change by capturing carbon dioxide through the growth of new vegetation. This dedication to environmental responsibility represents a broader shift in Jamaica's mining industry. A shift towards accountability, sustainability and long-term ecological stewardship. One of the most thrilling developments in Jamaica's bauxite industry this year is the highly anticipated reopening of the Gisco Ulpart Alumina Refinery, scheduled for December 2025. This event is much more than just the restart of a refinery. It marks a significant milestone that promises to inject new life and renewed energy into the entire sector, signalling a fresh chapter for Jamaica's mining industry. For many years, the Alpart refinery remained closed due to a combination of financial difficulties and the operational challenges. Its shutdown had far-reaching consequences, dealing a heavy blow to local economies and the thousands of workers who relied on the refinery for their livelihoods. Communities that once thrived around the refinery faced economic hardships with reduced job opportunities and diminished business activity. Now, however, thanks to new investments and strategic partnerships, the refinery is on the verge of a remarkable comeback. Picture the machines coming back to life after years of silence, the hum of activity filling the air once again. Workers who had been sidelined are preparing to return to their posts, bringing with them hope and optimism. Local businesses that serve the refinery and its workforce are set to experience a surge in activity, creating a ripple effect of economic revitalization. The reopening is expected to substantially increase alumina production capacity, directly creating hundreds of jobs and indirectly supporting many more in sectors such as transportation services and retail. But the significance of this reopening goes well beyond economic benefits. It stands as a powerful symbol of resilience and determination. The revival of the Alpart refinery is proof that Jamaica's mining sector is capable of not only surviving setbacks, but emerging stronger, more sustainable and more community-oriented than ever before. Industry experts see the Alpart reopening as a strong endorsement of Jamaica's updated mining strategy which emphasizes producing higher grade bauxite to supply advanced alumina refining technologies. This alignment between market demands and Jamaica's resource management strategy offers promising prospects for the sector's long-term growth and stability. Moreover, the refinery's revival could trigger a positive domino effect across the island's economy. Increased alumina production may attract further investments stimulate technological innovation and foster new partnerships. These developments will help position Jamaica as a competitive player within the global aluminum supply chain for years ahead. This exciting development reveals that Jamaica's bauxite mining industry is not merely surviving challenges, it is transforming into a model of integrated economic progress, environmental responsibility and social upliftment setting a new standard for sustainable industrial growth. So what does all this mean for Jamaica and its bauxite industry? The picture emerging in 2025 is far from the old narrative of just extracting ore and exporting raw materials. Instead, we see a sophisticated, dynamic ecosystem where production shifts toward higher quality, where technology drives efficiency and sustainability, and where communities receive real, lasting benefits. The sector's transformation balances economic growth with environmental care and social progress. It sets the stage for a resilient, inclusive future. One that supports not only Jamaica's economy, but also its people and the island's natural beauty. If this deep dive into Jamaica's mining transformation opened your eyes, please make sure to like this video and subscribe for more stories that take you beyond headlines and into the heart of industry change. We'd love to hear from you. What are your thoughts on this balance between mining and community development? Do you think Jamaica's approach could serve as a blueprint for other resource-rich nations? Share your opinions and questions down below in the comments. I read every single one. Thanks for sticking with us, and we'll see you in the next video.